Hey yeah, um, I got a new sword today. I was going to take some photos, but I decided um, it's not sunny enough. It won't do the sword justice, so I'll wait till the sun comes out and do some then. But I wanted to show it off because I've done some work in order to uh, in order to acquire it. Sword in question was going to be sold by the person because he didn't get on with it. I, I get that. I've had swords before where. In theory, they're you know fantastic cutting machines, but they just didn't click with me. So, um, but the sword in question is here. Very nice, sort of um, red sire. You can actually see the wood. So I'm assuming this is a fairly um, standard wood with a red lacquer over the top. It's nice. It's shaped well because it is actually very wide. Just grab another sword at random to show you. Oh, here we go. You can see there that one is significantly um, wider than the other. And that is because the blade is the same. If I just... Here is my TSW Bato. Just pop that there for a second. And here is this blade. Uh, again, if I can do the same sort of thing, that would be useful, but I won't be using my fingers. There we go. You can see one blade is very definitely uh, wider than the other. The bateau is uh, through hardened. No wiggly line, if you don't know what through hardened means. This, even though you can't see the harmon, is actually differentially hardened. Um, it's got a pretty pristine... Oh look, you can see my Facebook. Huh. Cool. Anyway, um, it's particularly pristine. It's a, a mirror finish. It's um, unusual in that the the bohe starts not you know here, but here, and that travels up the blade to the kasaki. Yokote, the delineating line is purely cosmetic, so that's coming off because. It looks nice to start with, but then if you're going to use your sword, it just scratches off and it's, you know, fucking waste of waste of time constantly repolishing it back, trying to make it look perfect. And every time you do it, you're adding another error of margin, which just ruins it. Again, um, a little engraving of some random kind um, and bohe. So it's removed some weight from the top of the blade, keeping it all down the bottom or keeping some down the bottom. Standard brass habaki, sepa, um, not cogwheel, which is nice. Um, super's very thick, but then I'm gonna re be replacing that anyway with something smaller. The wrap is fairly standard, but this is my area of expertise. Um, so that'll get replaced. For the sort of, the width of the blade, they've matched it almost perfectly to the width of a suka, which is really nice to see. Um, I know a lot of the raptors, they have a you know, thin blade and then this hulking great suka, and it just, yeah. Um, but yeah, it's a, it's a nice little project piece. It's like I said, it's um, differentially hardened. So at some point, especially whilst this polish is so spotless, I'm going to lightly acid etch it. I'm not going to make it um, phenomenally stand out, but it seems a pity to have a blade like this and have it not show the fact that it's got a differential edge on it. But yeah, uh, there will be more pictures, obviously, to follow. Um, but I couldn't contain my excitement, so I thought I'd do a little video. Thank you very much, Phil.